Hey everyone, so today I have a haul for you and um, I just wanted to show you what I got. So first I went to Ulta and um, I didn't have, uh, I like to use colored bases under my eyeshadow to really make the colors pop and I didn't have a purple base so I just picked up a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Lavender. So that's just a really, really light lavender. And um, I probably should have gotten a darker purple one too. But I think uh, what I'm going to do is there's this store that I know of that sells NYX at a discount. So I think I'm going to go there um, later in the week and buy some NYX products um, cheaper than at Ulta. Plus they, I think they have a better selection too. But we'll see, because a friend of mine told me that uh, that store may be phasing out their NYX products. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. But for now, I've got the Lavender Jumbo Eye Pencil. And um, you know that those hair products that I bought at Sally's, the Ion Color Brilliance ones? Well, they were okay, um, but I like to try new things, so... I did a little bit of research and I found out that the Tresemme Naturals um, the Nourishing Moisture Formula uh, I had heard that that was pretty good so I figured I would give it a shot and at Ulta right now they have buy two get one free so they only had three bottles of this on the shelf they had two bottles of shampoo and one bottle of conditioner so of course um, I grabbed them because um, it would have been, if I had bought all these individually, it would have been $15, but instead I only paid 10 Now, I was going to get these at Walmart because they're $4 at Walmart instead of 5 but I still would have ended up paying, um, you know, $8 at Walmart. So I figured for only $2 more, I could get a whole nother bottle for free. So anyways, this is what they look like. And I haven't used it yet. Um, I'll be using these probably tomorrow for the first time. And it says new lower sulfates with aloe vera and avocado nourishing moisture shampoo. And it um, has a real nice smell to it. But I had heard that this was pretty good. And... Um, that's what the conditioner bottle looks like. It's white instead of uh, black or brown. So I'll be giving those a try probably tomorrow. And um, so that's all I got at Ulta. And then I went to Walmart. And I was looking for something in particular, but they were sold out of it. So I'm going to try a different Walmart today. But um, while I was there, I did pick up this... Hard Candy Hide and Glow Cheek. It's a duo cheek tint. Now, do you guys remember those NYC ones that were out last year? Um, they came in um, lots of pretty colors, but the prettiest colors of all were the limited edition ones that nobody could get their hands on. Well, that's kind of what this reminded me of, except for you get two colors, one on each end. The one I bought is called Pillow Talk. And it has like a bright pink on one end, which is like the one of the colors of the NYC limited edition that I could not get. And then on the other end, it has like a rosy color. So I figured, you know, that was pretty good because this was $6. So, you know, two blushes for $6, that's a good deal. I have never bought anything by this company, Hard Candy, before. So it should be interesting to see um, how I make out with that. I don't normally buy makeup at Walmart, and that's why I think I've never tried this brand before, because I have kind of always wanted to, but um, usually when I buy makeup, I'm either at Ulta or the mall or Sephora um, or Rite Aid or CVS, but I don't normally buy makeup at Walmart, and Hard Candy to the best of my knowledge, is only available at Walmart. So, um, I'll give this a try and let you know what I think. Now, the other things that I got, 
was the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Um, as you can see, this is like a bright coral shirt. And, you know, yesterday I was thinking to myself, um, I've got all this makeup, but I don't have clothes that go with it. And I think I had mentioned that to you guys the other day. That's why I had bought that brown sweater and, um, you know, some of the other things that I had bought, like the army green pants. And um, so I ended up loving those army green pants. They are so soft and so comfortable. And I bought them just a hair too big so that when I washed them and put them in the dryer, they would shrink just a little bit and then fit perfect. Well, I was so impressed with those um, that I went back yesterday and I got them in black. And that's what I'm wearing today. I have on the black pants, which I'll, I might as well show you in a minute. And I have on this coral long sleeve ribbed top. Now, the thing that blows my mind is I really like this outfit. It's so comfortable. It's so trendy. Um, but for the two things combined, I only paid $18. And I don't like to spend a lot of money for my clothes because if I don't, then I can get them more often. <laughs> um, and I can buy, you know, more colors and stuff. So I would rather just buy inexpensive things. I mean, how do you really know? You know, anybody that saw this outfit, they would have no idea that it came from Walmart. And so what if it does anyway? A deal is a deal. <laughs> So anyways, um, the pants are normally $14, but they were on sale for $11. And then the shirt, uh, I don't know what the original price of it was, but I only paid $7. You know, $7, that's like two cups of coffee at Starbucks, you know. So I'm going to um, move the camera so that you can see what the whole outfit looks like. Okay, so this is the shirt. It's like a bright coral long sleeve ribbed top. And then these are the pants. And uh, keep in mind, these pants have not been washed yet. Um, so they're a little bit big, but they'll shrink because they're 98% cotton. So they will definitely shrink in the dryer a little bit and then they'll be perfect. And then I have on my exhilaration fuzzy boots from Target. But, um, yeah, I said to myself, when I saw this shirt, I said to myself, I have eyeshadow, lipstick, blush, and nail polish, all this color. I definitely have to have this shirt. <laughs> um, I might as well just tell you then, since I brought it up, what I'm wearing for uh, products. This is Orly Pixie Sticks. I got this last year from the spring collection. The name of the collection was called Sweet. And when I first saw the collection, I, I told myself that day that, you know, I could only get one color. And this is the one that just jumped right off the shelf at me. And it's the only nail polish that I have that is this corally color. Um, so that's Pixie Sticks on my nails. And um, for makeup today, I'm wearing... MAC Prep and Prime Primer, and this is a really, really good primer. I mean, I don't like it as much as I like the Guerlain, but that's okay. Um, this is also very good. I'm trying to use all my makeup and not just use the same things every single day, because what's the point of having it if you don't use it, right? So when I just tell you in the future what I'm wearing for makeup or you read it in the description box, you're going to see a wide variety of things. Uh-oh. Hold on. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, what were we talking about now? Um, oh yeah, what I'm wearing for makeup. So I told you that I had on the MAC Prep and Prime primer. And I'm also wearing the MAC Mineralized uh, Foundation. And this is the um, cream one that came out last year, which I like that a lot too. Um, and the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And I have on uh, MAC Hypnus Blush. Looks like this. And this came out with, um, oh, what the heck was the name of that collection? Uh, to the Beach, I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. 
And then um, for a eyeshadow base, I have on um, Coral Crate Paint Pot, which is a little too orange, I think, for what I was going for, but it was the only orange base that I had. I don't have one that's, even though this is called Coral Crate, to me it's more like orange than it is coral, but that's what I used anyway. And then I used for eyeshadows, I have on um, Paradisco on my lids, blended into the crease, and then my highlight is, is Shroom. And then I have um, Black Track Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel on my waterline. And then I put Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in Royal Blue on my lower lashes. Uh, I had mentioned something about that the other day, that it makes your eyes look like bigger and brighter and whiter if you just put it on your lower lashes, and I really like that effect. I think I'm going to probably be doing that every day, thanks to Makeup by Tiffany D. Um, and then on the top lashes, I have on Estee Lauder Magnoscopic Mascara. This was always my favorite mascara, and... Um, I, f I measure all other mascaras against this one because I really like this. It's, um, it's getting a little drier now, so it's not quite as phenomenal as it normally is like when you first buy it, but it's still a really good mascara. And then for lip products, I have on um, MAC Cut a Caper Lipstick, which is a coral lipstick, naturally. And... Um, this is Perennial High Style Lip Gloss from MAC. This was from the Liberty of London collection. And that's what I'm wearing for products. Um, so yeah, I love to go like all matchy-matchy if I can. I, lo I love to match as many things as possible. Like today I tried to do eyeshadow, blush, lipstick, nails, shirt, all coral color. <laughs> Um, when I was a kid, my mom used to take me to this special store that sold nothing but socks, and I used to have to always buy socks to match my shirt. So I had like this huge drawer in my bureau that was full of nothing but socks because I had them like in every color that you can imagine. That store doesn't exist anymore, but I keep thinking what a shame it is, you know, how many teenage girls would love that to be able to match their socks to their shirts, but, um... So I love, my point is though that I love to do the whole matchy-matchy thing when I can. Uh, it's just fun, you know. Um, so that's it for today then. And uh, that other product that I was looking for at Walmart, um, well, I'm hoping that I can find that because, um, well, I'll, t I'll tell you about it next time. Hopefully I'll have it to show you and explain why I bought it and what it is and all that. So I'll see you next time, you guys. Bye.